And finally, from behind the cameras, we have the, 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 my, my great friend and colleague and the great uh, cutter, uh, Barbara Culliver. Barbara, are you there? Welcome to Cultural Hours. I'm your host, Linda Powers. We're live at the Tribeca Film Festival. We're here to see Red Belt, directed by David Mamet. Congratulations in this film. Tell us your role. My role is I play a character named George, who is a, a, a weapons expert. And, and it's a different training for acting versus boxing? Oh, no, the same thing it took to be a good fighter takes to be a good actor, and that's discipline and focus. You have to have the same uh, training this mindset. you got to work hard. you gotta, you got to pay the dues before you reap the rewards. Hey, how you doing? I play Ricardo Silva, who... Uh, He's uh, the Brazilian champion in the movie, brother, and uh, I'm the business guy in this movie. I fight for the money. Did you audition for this, or did, they, did he come to you? Did David Mamet come to you? No, David Mamet is my student for the last seven years. The, the story is about a fighter that runs a martial arts school, but he, be, he does it for love, for passion. But he goes through a lot of pressure, a lot of deception, a lot of... It's a mammoth plot, a lot of twists that he's, he's brought to this world of professional fighting, fighting for the money. But so is this conflict. Surprise twist at the end, something. You have to watch it. Yeah. Watch. You need to watch. You gotta watch. We talk about that. We're on contract. We cannot yeah. talk about that. <laughs> Thank you. So nice to meet nice you. To meet What's you. your role in this film? What do you, what do you play in this film? Uh, where are you from? I'm from New York. And okay, I thought, you, I thought you had an accent like from Russia. <laughs> Uh, my girl is Sandra Terry. She is a Brazilian girl that lives in in LA, and she's married to this guy, Mike Terry, which is a fighter and owner of a gym that teaches Jiu Jitsu. Seems like it's such an honor to be in this house. He was looking. It was an honor for sure. It was when when the story, like the possibility came up, I was really thrilled by the possibility. Uh, I spoke to him. Uh, over the phone because he was looking for a Brazilian actress. One of the guys that trains him, Jiu Jitsu, gave my name and then he called me, he watched one of my movies, we went through the script a little bit together over the phone and then he made the invitation and that was it. Well, congratulations. I can Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Take care. And I'm the instructor for the last seven years. So, does he know what he's doing? Thanks, Roy. Mammoth. He's, um, he seems to be an intricate word crack. Does that, does that make it easier or harder to inhabit the characters you play? Because you guys are both so smart. We just talk about chips and ass all day long. Like Howard. <laughs> you know, Scott Burrell, who's on one of the Howard Stern channels, is the boxing he roles in the film. Are you even singing for it? Yes, yeah. I got to write the songs for the film. I've been, uh, I'm a singer-songwriter. Tell me about the role of being the wife of David Mamet and being involved in a film. Do you give input or do you just stay out and just let him do his thing? Oh, God, he's a master. I, I mean, you know, sometimes as an actor you can give input just by screwing up a line, you know, and he'll say, you know what, that line doesn't work, I'm going to change it. But my favorite role in life is being his wife and, and the, the mother of my children. How many children do you have? I have two. It's a very beautiful film. It's, he calls it an American samurai picture. It's about this lone warrior who um, is kind of lured away from his principles and then has to fight for his principles at the end. And it's, a, it's a beautiful work of art. It's a real homage to jiu-jitsu, the Brazilian um, martial art, which my husband practices. Hanato Magna is his teacher, and he also has choreographed the fights in the movie, which are really beautiful. Nice to talk to you. But I was sort of the most dangerous person on the set, because uh, I, and I'll qualify it by saying, uh, it's because I, I sort of knew the least. And because the moves are quite dangerous, if you're an amateur, you can actually really hurt people. And, um, What's your role so, in the film? So I, I play Mike Terry, uh, who um, he runs the, um, uh, an academy, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu academy in, uh, in Los Angeles. <laughs> but that's fun filming, you know, that's what, it's sort of, that's what it's sort of about. That's why you do it, because of the challenges you know. Thank you very much. Champion in martial arts, so let's see if we can get it. Yeah, I think everybody tunes in to Howard. And, you know, he, He's a purveyor of controversy, which is always fun. Hi. Hi, how are you? Very good. So you're a champion. I should feel very safe next to 
So really, so tell me about your role in the film. I play uh, Dylan Flynn, who's a kind of a sports commentator, a former fighter turned sports commentator, and and I, I kind of become a pivotal character in the plot that you know the main character Chiwetel is trying to get to me to kind of blow the whistle on the subversion that's going on in the movie. So I, have you been acting a lot, or is this a new experience? This is my seventh seventh movie. I've got two more pictures coming out this summer. Uh, first time working with David, which was a real learning experience and very, very good for me. Uh, How did you make that connection with David for the film? Did he contact you? Did you contact the audition? Well, I went in to read, yeah, I went in to audition. And, uh, him and I hit it off, I think, because we both have a passion for jiu-jitsu and grappling and wrestling. And, uh, and, and I think uh, he tries to bring an authenticity to what he's doing, and I certainly fit from that perspective in, in, into the role of the movie. Are you still um, practicing martial arts, or? Yeah, I'm still still training. How often do you train? I train usually uh, five or six days a week. Oh, so is this your first Tribeca experience? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I like it. It's my first film festival period. So. Uh, Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Want to get some pointers on how to stay really tough and make some jujitsu? You want something from me? Um, you want the move? You want the stiff hand? What you want? What you want stiff hand? You want the pose? Ah, get him! <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, I'm here as um, well. My publicist actually asked me if I wanted to come and see a David Mamet film, and I said I'd love to come. I mean, David Mamet, Mamet's you know one of my favorite directors. I love Ty. Has your life completely changed since Chronicles of Narnia? Yeah, it really has. You, I heard you've been training. Did you get the idea as you were training, or? Well, I've been training jiu-jitsu for a number of years, and I, so it's about the art of jiu-jitsu, and it's also about the world of jiu-jitsu. It's about the emotional side of it. Uh, I'm not, I never have any emotional ideas, because I'm basically emotionally I'm very retarded. But I, I, I think a lot about dr drama and about human interaction. So is there a twist at the end in this one? You bet there is. Okay, I can't wait to There's see a couple it. twists in the middle, too. Can you show us a jiu-jitsu move? I could, but it really would be inappropriate. Oh. Thank you. Wait a second. That's a jiu-jitsu move. Oh, you tricked me. Yeah, sure. If I get you to move to the side, all of a sudden, when, now, you, now you're defeated, right? Okay. Because you're at a very weak angle. You're looking that way. Uh -huh. You're not a very strong angle. So part of jiu-jitsu is, is not to oppose force to force. Okay. You use the, the easiest way possible to deflect the other person's force. So Especially for a woman, I need to know this. How well, it's great for women. In fact, that's part of the, 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 the one of the major elements of the movie is Emily Mortimer, who plays a woman who's been extraordinarily abused, goes to the jiu-jitsu studio by accident because she hit the guy's car, and he says, let me help you, and teaches her how to deflect force. That's fascinating. I can't wait to see it. Thank you very much. Enjoy it. In the pack. Culture Hours. Is that your real name, Powers? Yeah, nice. 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 Yes, yes, yes. I it was a dream. Absolute dream. He's just, he's so funny, and he's uh, very um, he's just a very compassionate person. You know, he thinks you're going to make a very lewd, funny joke, and then you realize it's actually very touching stories telling you, and it's a lead-in towards the uh, the scene we're about to do. So he's he's very uh, sneaky that way. He comes in, you think you're just kind of shooting the shit with, excuse me, shooting it with. You think you're shooting the shit with David Mamet? How cool is this? And really, the whole time he's like, "Well, the story I told you, much like the priest, that's what Snowflake is like in this character, in this scene." What's up, brother? Good to see you. How man. you doing? Everything good? Doing good? Man, you yeah. look great in the movie, man. Thanks, I loved brother. it. It was awesome. Working with you on that one. He helped me the entire day because I had no clue what I was doing and I had never done anything in a movie before, and he was my one day movie guide, teacher, ambassador, and overall, he kept me from getting my face beat in. <laughs> and he did great. And he did great. He did wonderful. He I couldn't even believe I made the final cut. I thought I'd be the first one they'd throw out of the movie. I can't believe I hey, made the, it. The, the camera loves you, brother. You're the man. Yeah, it's good to see you again. We're going to hang out, yeah? All right. Stay moving. Thank you, Powers from Hours. So, as you can see, we met some fascinating people into jiu-jitsu and Brazilian martial arts and David Mamet, of all people. Wonderful guy, very talented. We'll let you know about the film. This is Linda Powers of Cultural Hours.